About two hours ago, I spoke to a mother named Ricarda Loki. Now, her daughter, Shani, you may already know her name. We showed you some of this video earlier. It is incredibly disturbing to see, but it is important to see. And Ricarda Loki, Shani's mom, gave us permission to, to show it to you, as disturbing it is, because this video is of her daughter being paraded through the streets in Gaza City by Hamas terrorists, by groups of men shouting, God is great, over her prone body in the back of a pickup truck, celebrating her kidnapping. And we don't know exactly what the status, her status is. Her mother hopes she may still be alive, though certainly in this video, uh, there's not much sign of that. Shawnee Loke is an Israeli-German citizen. She is a civilian. She was at a dance party along with thousands of other young Israelis and people from all over the world uh, when this attack began. According to Israeli authorities, as many as 260, more than 260 people at this one event were slaughtered by uh, Hamas fighters who descended upon them and systematically killed them. Her mom, Ricarda Loke, was kind enough to speak with us tonight. First of all, Ricardo, how are you doing? Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm still not uh, understand everything what's happening, and until I don't know exactly what happens with my daughter, I will, I will not know for sure. So we're kind of waiting, waiting for news. When did you first get word that she had been taken? Uh, it started yesterday morning with the rockets in the early in the morning around six o'clock we had many rockets and alarms and then I start calling her and see where she is if she's near to a, a secure location and she said she's at the festival in the south and she was panicked a little bit and she said she's going to take the car now and go to a safe location and then we stopped talking and since then I didn't hear anything from her anymore and then uh, she wasn't responding on her phone and a few hours later we we got a video from a friend through social media uh, uh, and we identified our daughter on a pickup truck in the back lying on the floor with the uh, militant men around her and uh, pushing her down and with uh, armed and they were driving into the gaza strike with her so we saw that they were in the Gaza Strip already. I mean, the video is obviously extraordinarily disturbing. And, and is that the last you have seen of her? Yes, it's the last we have seen. We're always looking for more videos, more news, something that shows her in, in some other places. And we, we cannot really see anything yet. We, we saw that somebody tried to use a credit card in the Gaza Strip uh, multiple times. Um, that's all. That's all we have. You, like no other clue. What, was that after you saw the video? Then somebody tried to use her credit card. Yeah, in the evening. In the afternoon and evening, twice. What, what do you want people to know about Shani? Shani was such a loving and peace-loving person. She, it, it was a, a music festival. She likes to travel. She's an artist. She traveled a lot in the world and she has many friends abroad. She was there also with a tourist group with Mexican and Guatemalan and European people. And most of them are also still missing. They have no idea where they are. They're probably also kidnapped together with her. And uh, I, I don't understand it really how such a brutal thing can just happen in the middle of the day. And it was a complete surprise. I mean, we, we got used to the rockets. We live here with the rockets. We have a kind of a routine to go to the safe room and to take care of ourselves. But this was a completely different attack that nobody was prepared for and nobody can ever be prepared for such a thing, I guess. And even if I'm, I'm, I'm living also in a very little town and, and there are two other families that they're son and the, uh, the daughter-in-law were brutally killed in their beds in, in, in their house and they left two little children, babies, uh, alive, alone the whole day there. 
and another family where her son is uh, is a soldier and was dead. So, and it's it's a small town of 200 families maybe, and and just the three cases here, it's it's just terrible. I don't know we, and it happens in all in every town there are cases like this. It's just unbelievable. Like we we can't understand it. The Israeli government now says more than 260 people, mostly young people, were were killed at at this dance. Well, it's it's incomprehensible. It's 700, 700 are killed already and identified, and I think 130 kidnapped. That's that's the latest news that we have from our government. But, but 200, more than 260 from from this particular dance that Shani ah, was at. Ah, from this dance. Yeah, that could be. Yeah. I saw the videos where the people are running on the fields like they had no shelter, nothing, and they were just shooting at them and taking them by force. They were waiting. My daughter tried to get to her car. That's what we heard from people that uh, saw her and were there and uh, were rescued. Uh, she was going to the car and they had uh, military people standing by the cars and were shooting so people couldn't reach their cars even to go away. And that's when they took her. Do you believe she may still be alive? I hope. The video is, as you know, it, it looks very bad, but I still have hope. I hope that they don't take bodies for negotiations. And I hope that they, she's still alive somewhere. We don't have anything else to hope for, so I try to believe, yeah. And we have to wait. Ricardo it's Lou. going very slow here. Government is really... It's a chaos at the moment, and nobody is really calling us. Nobody's giving us updates. I'm, I'm in contact with the German embassy because we're also German citizens, me and my daughter, and trying to get help uh, from the German government. Uh, but it's difficult. At, at this stage, have, have Israeli authorities reached out to you? Have, have you're no, not we in have very, with them? Uh, no, I mean, we, 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 we went to the police and we registered her as uh, missing, um, but that's it. I mean, nobody's coming back to you. They're, they just don't have time. They have so many priorities. They had still uh, people running around here with, with arms and they were trying to catch. And, and there's still many bodies on the field of the festival since yesterday morning that they couldn't recover. They didn't have the time. and resources yet to to get to them even so it's really a mess it's very chaotic and uh, we don't get much response we have a very close field around us in our village and people are helping and they give us everything we need but from the government or from the uh, from the army there is not much uh, response at the moment they are not there yet well, ricardo i know you know that that People around the world who have seen the video of your daughter are just horrified. And I'm sure, I hope you know that there are many, many people whose hearts go out to you right now. And I wish you the best and continued strength. Thank you. Yeah, it, it, we need to see really what here it is so uh, targeted brutality and, and of taking civil pe persons, not even. I mean, those were really young people and other people were taken, children, uh, old grandmothers were taken in hostage. It's, it's just unbelievable. I, I've never seen such a thing. But let's and hope. And to see crowds of people cheering it and chanting, yeah, exactly. cheering God is it's great. It's so unhuman. It's, Something it's sickening. Is, is so off, which, which you really can't comprehend it. Yeah. It's not normal. I don't know. I, I can't mm -hmm. believe it. It is, it is impossible to believe. Ricardo Loke, thank you for being with us. I'm so sorry. Thank you.